Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we completed the design of the static homepage for our Blogger website. And this is how it looks. And everything looks alright, but there are some issues uh, when I tested this design. So, one of the issues is that when we click on any of these projects, so let's click on uh, this project over here. We can see that now the project is not uh, interactable. We cannot scroll down and we cannot even close this project and uh, we have to refresh our page. So this is one of the issues and we also need to add the close icon over here. So we can see that it is not being added. And uh, the next thing that we have to fix is that when we are on the mobile version of this website, we can see that we have the logo over here, but uh, this icon should be on the right corner. Now, if I click on this icon, it goes uh, to the correct place. But uh, if I click on it again, it goes back to this uh, random position over here. So these are the issues that we'll be fixing in this video. So let's get started. Alright, first of all, we'll fix the issue where when we click on any of these projects, this uh, is not accessible to us. And the overlay that should be behind this project is covering the whole project. So this is what we're going to fix first. Now let's go back to our source code and let's open this in a browser. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And here we can see this is our uh, design and uh, this is what we had added to the blogger homepage. So if I click on any of these projects, we don't have the issue in our design. So we can see that everything is working all right. But uh, when we click on the project inside the blogger homepage, we have this issue. Now we had copied all the code as it is to our blogger website but there's a difference between how it is uh, being displayed on the blogger website so if you go back to the design we can see that we have the body and in the body we have all this code and if you scroll down we can see that all these sections are just inside the body it is not inside any other section or any other division it is right inside the body so we can see that this is the parent tag and in that we have the nav and in that we have the header the sections and all of that now if you scroll down we can see that our portfolio section which contains all these projects is just inside the body so this is the parent tag of the portfolio section and now let's go back to the design and let's open one of these projects and if you right click over here and inspect and if you scroll up and if you click on the portfolio model and if you check out the CSS, we can see that it has a Z index of 1050. And if you scroll down and uh, go to the end of the code, we can see that we have a division with a class of model backdrop. And here we can see that it has a Z index of 1040, which is 10 less than the Z index of the model. So this model backdrop is what gives us this dark color over here outside our project. Now, since the model backdrop has a lower Z index than this uh, portfolio, the portfolio is displayed above the model backdrop but the model backdrop has a z index of more than all the other elements in the page so that's why we can see that it covers all the other elements except this model so that's why it looks like this project is being highlighted now if you close this we can see that the model backdrop is not being displayed anymore now let's go back to our blogger homepage and see how it is structured so let's click on one of these projects and uh, let's right click and inspect and here we can see we have the same division model backdrop and it has the z index of 1040 and uh, let's check out the z index of the model so let's scroll up and it is inside this division with a class of page and in that we have the page body and then in that we have centered and uh, and then we have centered bottom main section widget blog blog posts and post outer container and in that we have the post outer and in that we have the post and this is where we have all the sections and everything that we added from our design. So we can see all the sections, the portfolio section, the services section. And if you scroll down, we can see we have this portfolio model over here. And if we take a look at the Z index, we can see that it has the correct Z index 1050. But the problem is that this portfolio model is uh, inside a lot of other divisions. So even if you have the correct Z index for uh, this portfolio model, it won't be applied if the parent division has a lesser Z index than the backdrop. Now the reason why the portfolio model in our blogger website is inside a lot of other divisions is because we have added it inside a page. So we have created a page in our blogger dashboard 
and uh, we can see that it is called home so we have set this as the home page so that is why blogger will add a lot of other structure to this uh, html now let's check out the z index of uh, the parent divisions so we have this division with the class of post body and we cannot see any z index value over here so let's scroll up and go to the parent division so let's go to this post over here and we don't have any z index over here as well let's go to post outer we cannot find a z index over here as well and in this way if you go up and search all these uh, divisions and sections and if you go to this division with the class of page body you'll find that it has a z index of 20 so this is the reason why the z index of the portfolio model is being overwritten so if we remove the z index from here we can see that everything works all right there is no problems so in the css of our blogger theme we have to add z index of 1050 to the page body so let's go back to our uh, blogger theme and let's click on this arrow and edit html so let's press ctrl f and search for page underscore body and here we can see we have some css let's press enter once more and here we have some more css and here we can see that we have z index of 20 let's change it to 1050 which is the z index of the portfolio model and that should work all right now this line of code will add z index of 1050 to the page body but if you want to specifically target only this uh, home page then you can go ahead and uh, let this be 20 as default and uh, you can type body dot static home page and then we can type dot page underscore body and here you can add the z index and i will set it to 1050 now this will only target the page body inside the home page so let's save it and let's refresh our page and see whether it works let's click on any of these projects and we can see that the project is being displayed correctly we can click on the close button to close it and we can click on any of these projects and everything will work all right now let's go ahead and add this icon right here so we need to add a close icon we can go to our design and here we can see we have this close icon right here so let's close this and let's go back to the page so let's go to pages and we'll click on home and if you scroll down we can see that inside the portfolio model we will have the icons so here we can see we have all the portfolio models and we can see that we have this division with the class of close model and in that we have this image and uh, it is an svg so if you go back to our source code we can see that uh, this is the portfolio model and uh, we have this uh, closed icon.svg inside assets image so let's go to assets and img and here we can see the closed icon.svg so let's copy the svg code so let's click on that and uh, this is the whole svg let's copy everything from here and we'll paste it instead of this image right here so i'll just delete all of this and paste our svg code right here and we'll do the same with all the other portfolio models so let's remove this and add the svg so i have added the svg to all the other portfolio models right so now let's click on update and let's refresh our page right now let's click on any of these projects and we can see that the close icon is being displayed over here and if you click on that it closes right now the last issue that we have is that in our mobile version we have this uh, menu icon placed a lot away from the right corner so for that you can just add a flex of one to this uh, logo so if i right click over here and click on inspect and here we can see for the container we have a display of flex and if you have a display of flex to a parent element then for the child element you can set flex values so if you set the flex value of any element to one then it will take up the whole space if the other element doesn't have any flex value so i'll just click on this anchor tag which is uh, this logo right here and uh, here i'll just add flex one and now we can see that our logo takes up this whole space and this menu icon is pushed to the right right now let's add this flex one to the main nav navbar brand 
So let's copy this selector from here and uh, let's go to our theme code and let's search for the selector. So I'll just press Ctrl F and uh, paste it over here and press enter. And here we have the CSS. Let's go ahead and uh, type flex of one and uh, let's save it. Right now let's refresh this and open the mobile version. And now we can see that the icon is placed correctly. So everything is working all right. So that's basically it for this video. We have fixed some of the issues that we had in our design in the previous video. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.